Heading over to Connecticut, there's an accident southbound after exit 15, Route 7, really just as you come off of Route 7 onto 95 southbound. That's where that crash is. You can see delays are building out there. Then heading over to the FDR Drive, an accident just came in by 79th Street. Delays go back onto the Harlem River Drive there into the 130s. And heading over to the Belt Parkway, you still have a crash eastbound after Cross Bay Boulevard. Westbound, extremely backed up as well. You can see the Van Wyck Expressway northbound, just very congested this morning. Over on the Gowanus Expressway, oh, it reopened, but a little while ago, all lanes were closed out there. This is right by Hamilton Avenue where it splits to go into the UL Carry Tunnel or onto the BQE. So delays are awful. They go back to the Verrazano Bridge and pretty much over just because of congestion on the uh, Staten Island Expressway. And then over on 287 Southbound at the New Jersey Turnpike, there's a stalled tractor trailer that takes out three lanes. So you can see there in the picture, uh, not really moving. Uh, if you were headed out or parking, rather, alternate side and uh, meter rules, everything's in effect. Michael, back to you. Lauren, thank you very much. Six four. The roads, more and more accidents keep coming in. So you have one on Sunrise Highway eastbound approaching exit 65. Then you have uh, one on the LIE westbound out by exit 41. Delays there aren't too bad. You could always stick with the northern state through the area. Over on the Belt Parkway eastbound, you have a crash after Cross Bay Boulevard. And then you have another accident on the ramp from the westbound Belt Parkway to the Van Wyck Expressway. So you can see that area is really jammed up. Uh, heading over to an accident on Route 1 and 9. It's northbound by Avenel Street in the Woodbridge area. Delays are heavier southbound, and we'll take a live look outside at a